Wolf Rigs team meeting going on right now. Who knows what ideas they're going to come up with. You never know what these guys are going to do. Then we picked up a bunch of metal. That's the metal supply for that. Check it out. So it became a big Oh, the metal is in there. It became a transporter. Yeah. Let's go. How many batteries are going in here? I was going to put six. Here's the uh, infamous battle board. So I really have room for four. I don't think four is going to be enough. Oh, yeah. We fit right here really well. But even then, we'd be at five, six, we could probably do six. Five or six, what do you think? At least five. At least five fit there. Maybe six. Yeah. I just have to build a shelf. You come up with a good solution. Okay. It's probably the reason you're here. Yeah. I'll come up with it. Yeah. I know you would. What's that panel right there? It's nothing. Does it come off? I believe so. Because there's a whole bunch of space here. Right. There's That's another battery. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of space there. So there's a fifth battery behind that panel. Well then, why are we sitting there talking about it? I give you full authority to pull that panel off and figure it out. Okay. I wish I didn't have to leave. Well, I just need tape measure. This is diesel exhaust right here. Yeah. So this would be inverted when so, mounted. Right. So we, we don't want to uh, we don't want this going into the cab. Exactly. Really important. Okay. How does it mount? It uh, it sits flat. So like ideally the best place for this to be would be over there in the front door where we were talking about putting the batteries. Now, before we get into the weeds on that, let me just discuss some of the options here. After watching the videos on this thing, right? Okay. This thing actually requires thought to use. Or what? It requires thought. When I say it requires thought, it has all these different modes. There's summer modes, there's winter modes. Right. There's summer mode is where you just get your hot water out of it. Right. But it has a little tank inside right. that heats up the water in the tank, right? right. And so instead of just, it's not really an on-demand water heater. You want a hot water, you turn it to hot water and wait a little while. How and long then, a while? Um, you know, I was watching this guy do this on the on a video of a guy doing it, and he I was talking, it took I, so in. long to heat that water up. Yeah. yeah. We could probably save 40 pounds of weight. This is like the sexiest one there is, right? Yeah. But it's not the easiest one there. By a long, it's not the most convenient one by a long way. Now we already have, we've already established that we're going to have. So you're saying I? F no, I didn't even know this. I was all excited about this until, until I started watching the videos on this thing, and I was like, well, wait a minute, that's down. That's down. Yeah. Right. And then you drill a hole through the bottom of the vehicle. So yeah. So that just sits like this. Ouch. Because I've seen these in other things mounted. Where they mounted it on the back wall like this. Where? The back wall. Up on top. No. Really? 
Yeah. You've seen it mounted like that? Yeah. Because it also has a water drain. Yeah. And that drain water right. drain, yeah, is that right and, there. And you bring that out. Yeah. But if it's mounted like that, then it wouldn't drain. Okay, what do you want about this? Okay, well, let's just discuss our options first, okay? So, if, if I had it my way, okay, okay. I, would, I would send this back to Webasto. It goes to England, where I bought it from. Oh, my okay. God. The, the, the reason I say that is because... What's nice is, is that the price on these things just went up by $2,400. If we went to the Webasto version of this, right? because it's the nicer version, right? and we'd want the nicest, they're about a grand. Okay. For one of these. It's exactly the same form factor, 100%. Okay. Okay. And then we went with a, a water heater like this. Come here. Yeah. Oh my God, it is so nice. Not only is this thing on demand, but it also protects itself. Right. We didn't even know this. We were just like, what does that noise? It came on to protect itself from the cold. Right. And so if we had something like this in there, and a Webasto, um, actually the whole thing ends up being a little bit smaller, a lot lighter, and it doesn't require thought on their part to have hot water. They just turn on the sink. Okay. And you get hot water. You sold me. Oh, done. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to wrestle. Go wrestle though? We can wrestle. <laughs> so, is this, a better, is this a better applied for the buff? I don't even know. Like they say it could prove. It, it, it could provide 150 cubic meters an hour of water. And I'm like, you gotta be crazy. That's impossible. Of hot water? There's no way. No, no water heater does that, except an on demand, uh, something that's constantly heating. This actually makes me happy. Because I was concerned that these were gonna be another $2,400 going yeah. forward. I just think that these people would be a lot happier if they just went over and turned on the water and totally got agree. hot water. Totally agree. Couldn't agree more. So now, and since we're gonna, and since they're not living in it, a five-pound propane tank or twenty-pound propane tank, ours, our two propane tanks last us what? A long time, Four, and I cook and months? I bake and I forget to turn right. the oven off the all the time. The only reason I have that on there <laughs> is that one, I have the room for it. Uh, the weight is not is, is negligible, mm -hmm. and they're easy to swap in, swap out. Yeah. That the easy swapping in, swapping out was the reason why I made it to where the the, the twenty-pound is. is and we'd be silly not to use the propane stove. Right. So we're going to have propane on board anyway. And so having the so propane. You, you want to use propane for the hot water. For, for the hot water yeah. too. It's just better, better idea. Yeah. The sink's on that the side. The sink's on that side. And so we could, uh, we could bring it in right in that square right there. The water heater come in inside right there. Can you see that line underneath the window? That's where the edge of the uh, bench comes. Pop up in there. The seating. Load up. Load up. Mike, load up. Sorry. <laughs> it brings better power to the user. Right. Simpler and it makes it simpler for the user to use. Yes, exactly. And they don't have to worry about heating up their stuff. I didn't, I actually, the way those things were sold to me was like instant hot water, instant heat. You're going to love this thing and, and just, just the cat's meow. Yeah, I, I just, after watching the video, the guy was, so you have to turn it to here. Oh, and if it's winter time, you got to turn it all the way over here so it protects itself. And I'm like, wait, you have to think about that? I don't want to think about that. Yeah, I you want, want to, to do it automatically. Well, the, the other thing is, so part of the reason why this actually exists is because RVs out there are so complicated, and the systems are complicated, and they don't integrate very, very well. And you're you're putting your RV in the shop more than you're using it. So I want to simplify anything that we have going on with this thing. To where it's like, oh, that's easy. If this is going to be an all storage right here, yeah. but we had a little, like one little special cabinet up here right just for all the gauges yeah. go right here and yeah. switches yeah. for pumps and yeah. all that stuff that's actually kind of what i was envisioning so the bench itself goes from this line to this line that line corresponds over there okay so there's literally a booth in the back of this. oh this is the the wrapper on couch back here this, this is the booth okay you know it's nice you can go like this you can go <laughs> And try to shake John off the roof. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. You okay up there? I think I may have fallen off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, what happens if you fall? Uh, I quit before I hit the ground. Right. <laughs> I quit before I hit the ground. Right. So we're going to have 
a dial for the Webasto heater. We're going to have a dial for the, there's going to be a thing for well, the, I, I want to do actually the, the water heater one needs to be over here by the shower. Because this is like, have you seen our water heater? How you mm -hmm. adjust that up and down? Mm -hmm. So when you're going to take a shower, you just turn on the hot water. You don't ever use cold water in the shower. You literally don't have to have a cold water nozzle okay. in the shower if you don't want to. Um, and you definitely don't want one that has an anti-scald. No. That, matter of fact, I was going to do two separate, the, the individual levers, like old school style. Yeah, that would be the best way to do it. Because if you have the anti-scald, it, it messes with oh, the... Yeah. Uh, so, um, you just set the temperature for the shower you want to take Until on the water. dial. We have it usually like 102 or 103, 104, somewhere in that. Oh, I took a 106 today. Oh my God. Woo! And then we also need a, uh, uh, a pressure adjustment regulator. Okay. And what that does is it turns the, it's uh, something I wish I had on mine, but it, we can adjust the amount of pressure because we're probably going to have like a 50 PSI mm -hmm. water pump in here. We won't be able to turn that down to about 30. Okay. So and that, that constant. Anytime you want something, I don't care what it is, send me a text. And just a little show up the next day. Okay, cool. Just so, and then that that just slows the water down through the water heater, right? And allows it to heat up. I want something that's going to be. You want the best thing. I want the best thing. I want to be bomb proof, easy to use. Something I'm not going to worry about. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to go to the RV pool store and get one of these things. No, because we're going to build it right the first time. This air conditioner on the lowest setting draws 900. Mm. On the medium setting which in the factory settings on this is set to either uh they have it has three settings but factory they give you two settings but you mm -hmm. can switch it uh 900 or 1200 but there's a 1300 watt setting it's basically drawing at when it's 90 degrees outside it's drawing 78 amps on the first setting why'd you buy this i'm just dumb I am so dumb, and that's why I bought it. What if some of this doesn't wind up in your videos? I feel like an idiot right now. So, this is why you should have been here two months ago. I know, right? Um, yeah, so it's drawing 78 amps. Okay, so what's my better option? Because I actually have two of these units. I got one up there, I got one here. Dang it. I don't know, actually. I don't, I mean, if you're, you're insistent on having that. So, here's the thing. This I'm insistent on having something that can cool it to where, I don't care if I'm in the middle of the freaking deserts and it's, it's 105 degrees outside. They say this thing will move 220 amps through it. Right. Okay. That's why I bought it. So. I did a little bit of research. We have a 200 amp alternator in there, which are $1,000 on eBay um, for just the alternators. So, um, that's one total option right there that if they're going to run the AC, they're going to turn it on. We talked about doing a generator too. Yeah. And I think using a generator to run the AC is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, the problem with that is, is this is a 12 volt AC. Generator is 120 volts. So run through the inverter. Do some math. No, no, no. It's the other way. What I'm trying to say is the other way. This thing is an inverter charger. If we're shore locked, this will charge your batteries off of right. your shore power. Um, we have we have an abundance of 12 volt. This one can't play a factor. This converts to 120 volts. We need it to go the other <coughs> way around if we're using a generator. Let's take a step back for a minute. I want you because I, I put a lot of this together, thinking, okay, Battleborn. I did their system right, and I just went in and just bought it, right? Getting sure to bought it. Um, I saw this AC unit, and I was like, okay, that's the you know the one that uh, our competition is using. Bought it. Looked at the Webasto, knowing the product that they have, say, okay, you know, what's, what's the top of the line Webasto product you can put in this rig where it's going to kick ass? Okay, this is it. Bought it. <coughs> Thinking that what I'm building here is has, you know, things that are going to be used that are above and beyond mm -hmm. the, the scope of what really this is. Right? Turns out that that's like, completely not the case from what you're talking about. Well, it's just, uh, I think. There's a lot of wishful thinking that goes into that. That's just a single fuel source okay. convenience. So, power-wise, AC-wise, heat-wise, it sounds like everything I have going on here sucks. You should be straight. Yes. Okay. Let's plan a dream system that you think will work perfectly on this and we'll Okay. All right, how was your first day? Well, I changed everything. <laughs> you did. He almost got fired for changing no, everything. Fired. <laughs> no, 
He, he, saved, he absolutely saved, capitulated. He saved us almost three thousand dollars per build. All right, so we're we keeping him. We're keeping him. There's things that you know how to put things together that I was like, yeah, it'll work, but nothing can replace the experience. That's right. Teamwork. Welcome to the team. Thanks, buddy. Killing it. Glad you're here. All right, guys. That's All right. it. Have a good night. Going in for the night. Bye, everyone. All right. See you manana. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay, it is actually day five for Mike on the job here at Wolf Riggs in Denver, Colorado. So let's go see what kind of progress they've made on the patent. I don't see a lot of progress happening here, guys. That's like I've kind of given up. <laughs> I've well, not faith in myself. At least projects. somebody's working over here. And look at the progress. And look at this. What is this little shelf up here? Come give us a tour. Okay. <laughs> All right, so John here just put on the back panel. Say hi, John. AKA Slater. AKA Slater. AKA Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> but we love him. He's a good guy. Um, that's actually air conditioner. That's the uh, inside. It's kind of like a mini split. And that's the inside unit of the air conditioner. And this is a, actually a 12 volt air conditioner. So it's really, it's kind of uncommon. Very cool. That's what that's going to live up there. Um, I just put the uh, Super Bomber um, uh, solar, rack. solar rack up there. Can I go up in the treehouse? Alright. Aha! So the four, two, solar one, two, rack. There. Four 200 watt panels. Yep. Nice. Whoa. Looking good so far. Heck yeah. A lot of little detail stuff. You don't see it happening. That's that's when you get the most discouraged. Is when like the when you're doing little things that just don't have this big impact impact on the thing. That's why getting that solar rack was so like great for me because <laughs> it was like there's so many like little things we're chinking away at that have to get done before paint. And so it's just like little things. So tomorrow we'll do a wet test. We'll spray water on this thing to see if it stays dry, and I'm confident it will. And then hopefully so at some point next week they'll be painting. We'll be painting, and it's going to be. I'm not telling. You have to wait till this. Wait till it comes out. For the big reveal. The big reveal. Dun dun dun. dun. That'll be do the big next reveal. week. I think. <laughs> I don't really know at this point. In the future, and I might even change ours to this, but this is a level sender. And this will measure the level of fluid in a tank. And these come in all different sizes. That's a float. Yeah, this is a float right here. So we're going to put it down in this tank right here. And then I have we have another tank around here. And we have another sender right here. We have a small. This will be for the black tank or gray tank. We don't have a black tank in this one. The gray tank. And this is the fresh water, which we actually have two of these. So there will be uh, 60. These are 30 gallon tanks. 60 gallons of water in the back. So. But this will tell us exactly how much water we have, you know, so I want to get one. I want to do this on ours. I know that seems like a pretty good system. Yeah, I like it a lot better. Got a lot of work done today. Excellent. But I'm sore and I'm tired. I've been on vacation for too and long. And you're I... not getting a day off tomorrow either. Why do you hate me so much? I don't. It's Reed. He's making you work your fingers to the bone. Why does Reed hate me so much? Make me work on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> I love it. That looks good, man. Good job. Kill it.